Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to learn more about secants and tangents of a circle. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. So here, we have a figure. Okay? So we are going to identify what parts related to this circle are named. So, ano itong mga ito? Okay, we're going to name these parts related to this circle. Alright? Okay, let's start. Okay, I think it's best to start with number 2. Okay? How do you read this? Okay? Look at it very closely. You have two arrow heads. I don't know. Here. My arrow head dito and then another arrow head here. Okay? So that means um, we have a line. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng arrows na ito, the line extends endlessly in both directions. Okay? Where is the line B, C? Okay? Let me color it orange. Here. Okay? And then I will put arrowheads. Okay? So, mag-move lang yung line na yan endlessly in this direction at saka sa direction na to. Okay? Yun yung ibig sabihin ng line BC. Okay? So, anong name? Anong name ng line na yan? Okay? That is what we call the tangent line. Why? Because it touches the circle at exactly one point. Okay? So, let me write its name. This is our um, tangent line. Alright? Okay. So, what do you call this point? Yeah, the point B. This is the point. Of tangency. Okay? This is the point of intersection of the tangent line and the circle. Okay? Uh, let me write the name of point B. That is the point of tangency. Let me use another color for that. Okay? So, point B, this is the uh, point of tangency. Alright? Okay. Let's move on to number three. How do you read that symbol? There's only one arrow head. You see it? To, isa na lang yung arrow head. Kapag isa na lang yan, you um, read this as um, Ray BC. Where is Ray BC? So again, ang ibig sabihin ng arrow head na ito, mag-grow ito or mag-extend ito endlessly in this direction only. Okay? So, where is Ray BC? Let me draw it. So, this is Ray BC. You start with um, point B and then you extend to point C here. You see it? That pink line. Alright? That is the Ray BC. Okay? And what do you call that ray? There's a special name for that ray. That is what you call the tangent ray. Alright? So, let me write this one. This is the um, tangent ray. What do you mean by a tangent ray? A tangent ray is a part of a tangent line. So, do you see it? You know, diba? the tangent line is the color orange and the tangent ray is this color pink. So, it's clearly a part of a tangent line. And the tangent ray contains the point of tangency. Ito, oh. Okay? Kasama niya yung point of tangency. The point B. Alright? Okay. So, let's move on to number four. Ano namang tawag nyo dyan? Yung wala ng arrowheads. Do you see? 
Wala na siyang arrowheads. So, anong tawag dyan? That is what you call the line segment BC. Okay? Pag line segment, it has two end points. Okay? Hindi siya mag-grow or mag-extend in both direction. Okay? May end point siya. Okay? So, where is the line segment BC? Uh, let me draw. Let me use another color. Okay? So, line segment BC from this point up to point C. So, here. Okay? Do you see it? That is the line segment BC. So, what do you call that line segment? What is the special name for that line segment? It is the tangent segment. Okay? What do you mean by that? It is a line segment whose end points are the point of tangency and the fixed point outside the circle. Yeah? This is a fixed point outside the circle. Okay? If you have like that, that is what you call the tangent segment. Let me write. Tangent segment okay they are all related to one another right as you can see here the tangent line where's the tangent line the color orange it contains the tangent ray that's our color pink and it also contains the tangent segment the color green and of course, the tangent line contains the point of tangency. Alright? Okay, let's continue. Okay? So, where is this one? What? How do you read this again? This is the line DC. Okay, so mag-grow or mag-extend yan endlessly in both directions. So, where is that line? Okay? So, here. Okay, so let me trace it again. So this is the line um, DC here. Okay, so that's line DC. Okay, so what do you call that line? Okay, it is a secant line. Okay, why? Because it touches the circle at exactly two points. Okay? So, this is what we call the um, secant line. Okay? Okay. So, what about this one? This is the line segment DC. So, what is line segment DC related to this circle? Where is that line segment DC? Here. This is the line segment DC. Okay? D C. Okay? So what do you call that line? What is the special name to this line segment DC? This is what we call the secant segment. Okay? What is a secant segment? It is a line segment with one end point on a circle. Okay? And one end point outside the circle. And one point between the two points that intersects the circle. Okay? So, ibig sabihin lang nun, meron siyang one point dito sa circle. Tapos, another point outside the circle and one point in between. Okay? So, this is what you call the secant segment. Okay, let me write again. So, this is the um, secant segment. Alright? Okay. So, lastly, we have this line segment. Okay, 
where is the line segment EC? This is the line segment EC. This one. Okay? What do you call this line segment? Okay? It is part of the um, secant line or the secant segment. Okay? This is what you call the external secant segment. What do you mean by that? An external secant segment is the part of a secant segment that is outside the circle. So that means if you have a secant segment, okay, ito lang yung part ng secant segment na nasa labas ng circle. This is it? The segment EC, it is a segment outside the circle. So ang tawag dyan, external secant segment. Okay? So let me write. So EC, this is the external secant segment. Okay? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Okay? So, please like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.